Excuse me, little dog. Ah, oh, good lord! Hi, guys. It is a lovely evening here in the collapse of everything here at Bugs in a Jar Farm at up in upstate New York. Where it is, good lord, what is it? Wednesday, October 25th, where I've got five more nights in New York, baby, before heading off to Florida. Although I don't know why I need to head off to Florida quite yet. It's going to be 74 degrees the next couple of days. I think maybe record warm temperatures. And uh, I am taking full advantage of all of this global warming to uh, get this place ready for winter. And the little dog and I, we are completely exhausted trying to shut down this place for winter. So it's going to be a fairly uh, short and sweet chronicle of the collapse, and uh, which I actually found this morning, doom scrolling uh, through the mainstream media. Good lord, little dog, what did you eat? Anyway, good thing uh, we haven't learned how to. At some point, we're going to get the technology to have be able to put smell on the internet, and then we are in trouble. You would have to be smelling what I'm smelling. So I was on uh, doing a, my little my little bit of doom scrolling this morning, procrastinating with all the work I had to do. And uh, first thing is that hurricane down in Acapulco. Good Lord! Like I, I I'm 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 scrolling along. They have several stories about some. Uh, Hurricane Norma, or whatever, and then like halfway through, they mention this Category 5 hurricane slamming into Acapulco. It was this little bitty story, and that was it. And at least now I see it's the second biggest story on the planet. That son of a bitch, Otis went from, uh, what was it, a tropical storm to a Category 5 hurricane in less than 24 hours, and I think maybe a Category 1 hurricane to a Category 5, something like 12 hours. Good Lord, but I'm quite sure all the other doomers are going to cover that. So, right below that story just buried away in, in, in the middle of Yahoo News this morning, we have another one of these We Are So Doomed reports. And I thought what it was was yet another story. You know, you guys got a bonus rant. So, so yesterday, like all of the mainstream media were, were doing this story about, you know, this doomer porn from one of these. Uh, there, there's so many of these reports coming out. Uh, but all of these versions on one of these uh, doomer porn reports yesterday. And then I'm scrolling today, and I come up to this one, and for a minute, I just thought it was the one I covered twice yesterday, but no, it's another one, and this was the only time that this was mentioned. This was at 9 o'clock this morning. This story was out. I checked the news again about 2 o'clock this afternoon. No mention of this story no mention of this story, 8 o'clock tonight. So apparently, Yahoo News ran this story from Reuters. Uh, I see out of a planet of 8 billion people, 9 people on the planet have commented on this new dire UN report. <clears throat> 
world on brink of environmental tipping points, UN says, hmm, the world is heading towards a series of environmental tipping points that could cause irreversible damage to water supplies and other life-sustaining systems, the research arm of the United Nations warned on Wednesday. Climate change and the overuse of resources have put our world on the brink of six interconnected tipping points that, quote, could trigger abrupt changes in our life-sustaining systems and shake the foundation of societies, close quote. The UN Universities Institute for Environment and Human Security said, Continuing, uh, this is uh, Jack O'Connor, lead author of the report. <clears throat> Quote, once these thresholds are passed, the system fails to function as it normally would, and you get new risks cascading out and these new risks can transfer to other systems. We should be expecting these things to happen because in certain areas, they are happening already." Close quote. So I guess the official name of this is the Interconnected Disaster Risks Report. And, and they don't even have a link to the, uh, to the report. There is no other article anywhere. This, this is the one time you will see this mentioned. Uh, and, they, and they don't even put a link to it. The Interconnected Disaster Risks Report, published ahead of COP Out 28 climate talks next month, identified accelerating rates of extinction, groundwater depletion, glacial melt, and extreme heat as the major interconnected threats. The report warned that one million plants and animals, I guess they mean species of plants and animals, it warned that one million plants and animals could be wiped out, quote, within decades, hmm, with the loss of key species to, quote, trigger cascading extinctions of dependent species, close quote, and raise the likelihood of ecosystem collapse. <clears throat> Many of the world's biggest aquifers are already depleting faster than they can be replenished with Saudi Arabia, <clears throat> India, and don't forget the United States already facing grave risks. Runoff from glacial melt is also set to decline. This is Caitlin Eberl, another lead author of the story, whoever Caitlin is, quote, heat is causing us to extract more of that groundwater because of drought. Many of those glaciers in the Rocky Mountains, the Himalayas, and the Andes feed into these rivers and groundwater systems. So, as those glaciers disappear, there is less water available. Huh. Wow. Never would have thought of that. <clears throat> the researchers also warned of the growing risks posed by space debris with collisions set to render the Earth's orbit, quote, unusable. 
set to render the Earth's orbit unusable and make future space activity, including satellite monitoring of environmental threats, impossible. Huh. And yet another tipping point, worsening climate hazards are now making insurance unaffordable with half a million homes in Australia alone set to be uninsurable by 2030, they said. Quoting the report, quote, once this point is passed, people are left without an economic safety net when disasters strike. There you go. That is the total amount. We have nine comments. Uh, Humpty Dumpty was two. Uh, <clears throat> I do like, I have to say, I like Steve's comment. Since there seems to be a looming crisis, it is really reassuring to know that all of those scientists on the planet are wrong, and they wasted their PhDs and careers getting involved in a huge hoax. Having the real geniuses on the internet that can see through all of that without studying any science is a great thing. <laughs> uh, yep, yep, yep. And then, of course, we have uh, the people still, uh, you, you, you know, the tipping point deniers. Gee, where have I heard this before? And then they, you know, talking about Paul Ehrlich in 1970. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Let's see if any of the nine people. Uh, yep. Harbingers of doom. Right again, if we believe this stuff, it is supposed to motivate us to do what? Ban fossil fuels? Go back to the Stone Age? Hmm. <laughs> uh, and of course, UN attacks. Uh... There is the only real tipping point to this is that there has been zero proof that the hoax of global warming and climate change is real. Mm. Yes. All right. I like Chris. There are too many of us slow human population down. Yes, don't forget Max. The UN is full of shit and they are lying. Our sun is this planet's biggest threat, not climate change. And we're going to end with <laughs> unemployed. She has unemployed. He or she has a two word comment birth control. Birth control. Hmm. Imagine that birth control. That's it. That is the total. Uh, you are going to hear on the mainstream media about the collapse of planet Earth 
This is the first one I've, I've heard about the space junk tipping point. Oh boy. So get out there and enjoy your satellite internet. Well, you still can, but guys, I am exhausted and uh, I need to go freshen my drink while I still can. Four more days at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Another summer comes to a close. Ugh. Can I get out of the chair? Bye, guys. Ugh.